What's up guys, Crane here from LogicLounge.com. Today we're gonna to be looking at Chrome on the iPhone. All right guys, Google today released the iPhone app for Google Chrome. Yes, there's another browser on the market and it's Google Chrome on iOS. Uh, as you can see here, this is a full version of Google Chrome. You can use it just as like you're using on the desktop. Uh, you can see here, you can use the unified search bar to search and go to URLs. You can open and close tabs by uh, swiping to close at any time. Uh, you can switch tabs very easily just by with your fingers, uh, as well as signing in using Google's unified sign-in. Uh, they even have uh, incognito windows as well, which is very nice. So when you're ready to go, you can go to any URL. Let's go to logiclounge.com and you can see because I've logged in with my Google account, it sees my history and I can go ahead and click logiclounge.com and opens it up really quickly. You can see the page loading. I can scroll through the page. It looks very nice. I love it. There's other search features here. Uh, that three lines is your menu. You can open up a new tab if you'd like. So there's a new tab. Uh, if I have any uh, applications that I pin, I can open them up right here, uh, which is very nice. I can go look at favorites. Uh, I can also look on uh, tabs that I have open in other devices. Like if I had my iPad open or uh, my desktop open, I can view tabs from within there. You can also view your open tabs as well on the upper right hand side. You can see it has five tabs open. And just by swiping, I can see everything uh, that is available. And if I want to uh, close a tab, you just swipe away, swipe away, swipe, swipe. Now I have no more tabs. Click to add a new tab. There's everything incognito windows, look at other devices, your bookmarks, in your settings, there's tons of settings. You can ch change who you're signed in as, your search engine, saved passwords, using voice search, uh, reporting issues. You have tons of information in there. It's a great uh, application. <clears throat> I can't wait to use it, especially because I think this is gonna be a huge Safari killer on the iOS devices. Uh, you can use the search bar again. You can use a Siri if you're on Siri. It has all of these quick buttons up here to search around. Again, you can add titles. Uh, you can add lots of different information in here. And I think Chrome is really the killer for uh, Safari. So check us out at logiclounge.com for even more articles. If you have any questions for me, email me, Creighton at logiclounge.com. Of course, you can also follow our social media profiles on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, all under the username of Logic Lounge. Uh, of course, you can always like and subscribe this video. It lets us know when we're doing a good job. So go ahead, click that like, click that subscribe button. And thank you for watching. We'll have another video, nice uh, and short here, uh, on the tablet as well, because there's a different interface on the tablet. So check out that video that will probably be in a tooltip on this video. So until our next video, we'll see you guys later.